Hey, so do you ever get annoyed when people don't open your emails or reply? It could be a, a team member that works with you, it could be a parent, it could be a student, it could be an inquiry for lessons with you. It doesn't matter what you were emailing about, the chances are if you sent the email it was important enough for you to write it and so you wanted people to open it and to actually receive that communication. Now there's a lot of things that you can do when you're running a small teaching business and you can really chase people up because uh, I know when I only had 30 students teaching on my own well if I sent 30 emails for a communication to parents and you know 25 of them replied it was easy to follow up the five or even 10 with another email another text message but as our school grew to 100 500 2000 you can't do those same tactics and so we had to get smarter with email and right down to the subject lines we would write so that people would actually open these emails and respond so today I want to give you three things I want to give you first of all three types of email subject lines that we developed uh, that help you drastically improve the open rates of all the emails that you send Two, I want to give you a swipe file of over 350 subject lines that I've collected over the years and that's where I turn when I'm trying to come up with a good one for any email and as I mentioned you're going to send so many different types of emails and so you want to have a good pool of subject lines that's going to ensure that people open it and the third thing I want to give you is a really simple strategy uh, to use for the people that still don't open the emails uh, even once you've improved your subject lines and email writing and all that sort of stuff there's always going to be some people that don't open so I'm going to talk about what do you actually do with them and give you some simple strategies all right so let's get into it but first of all if you like videos like this which help you grow a more successful successful music teaching business uh, like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so you can get the videos that we're putting out each week uh, which are going to help you across all sorts of angles of uh, building your successful teaching business so let's get you more profitable and making a bigger impact uh, let's get straight to the first type of subject line that we've found is the best quite simple really it's the more formal approach so being more formal, uh, one tip I would give you is that you might tell customers when, when they join you that, hey, whenever we send you something that's important, it might be about fees, it might be a newsletter, uh, anything that is uh, crucial that we need you to read, what we're going to do in the subject line is we're going to say, you know, you might put your studio name, then announcement. Uh, and so our school is called Good Time Music Academy, so we would say in capital letters, the acronym GTMA, announcement and sometimes it might be announcement dash please read and so having a pattern where you're actually training your customers and saying hey whenever it's important uh, we'll write it this way so you make sure you open that so when you're sending something that's not really important and doesn't actually matter if they don't watch it so an example might be here's the highlight reel from the concert last week it doesn't actually matter if people don't watch it so don't use that you know really important subject line because you don't want people realizing oh actually a lot of the stuff they see isn't really important so I can ignore that one and then all of a sudden they miss something that's really important and then you're left chasing them up so it's all about training your customers so that's one idea of course the second thing around the formal subject lines is people like to see their name when you use their first name it shows that it's not a automated email but it's uh, it comes across as it's personalized so you might use something I'll use my name so it might say Johnny dash important or Johnny dash please read or important information about whatever topic for Johnny or details about whatever topic for Johnny please read so any of those sorts of things where you can use some capitals, please read, important, uh, that sort of stuff with someone's name, that is a winner. So that's the first type of subject line that is going to get you the best open rates. That sort of stuff with someone's name, that is a winner. So that's the first type of subject line that is definitely going to get you the best open rates. Let's check out the second type of subject line. These are curiosity based. This is what we'd call them. They're kind of curious. You're like, oh, I wonder what that's about. And so it's intriguing enough that people think oh I'd, I'd like to click that so some examples for this might be you might say new and exciting announcement for and you might insert a person's name or a people group a people group meaning parents or uh, students of you know your music studio so new and exciting announcement for blank or what about big news for and you know put their names in or their you know students or things like thanks for the other day Johnny or really sorry about this but this is the last chance or anything like that um, you can also ask questions like 
What did you think? Uh, did you see this? Uh, you're not on my list, Johnny. Anything like that where they, they think, what's this about? It gets them to click and open, and that's what we want. So curiosity headlines, mess around with some of those sometimes, and those work really well as well. All right, the third type is uh, kind of quirky, fun ones, and I'll give you some ideas. But just before I do, um, down below I've put a couple links of some really cool resources that we've found to be really popular with music teachers and academy owners. One of them is called 136 Ways to Attract New Students. And so if you're looking for heaps of ideas or you just want to have a pool of ideas for when you need them, grab that resource totally free. These are ideas that took us from 30 to 2,000 students and it'll take you as far as you want to go as well. Second resource is a masterclass that I made called the three step framework that exploded my music school from 30 to 2,000 students and the three things that I would change if I had to do it again. Uh, that's going to help you no matter what level you're at and show you some of the big music school principles that I learned in that journey and how you can apply them to your studio wherever you're at. So whether you're starting out, got 50, 100, 2,000 students, you're going to find a whole lot of really great stuff in there to help you. So those are all free. Grab them down below. But let's move on to the quirky subject line ideas. So this is where you just get to have a bit of fun. And remember, you want your studio to be a fun place. Ours was called Good Time Music Academy. It's all about not just having good timing, playing music, because that's important, but actually just having fun, having a good time. And so a lot of the stuff we did was all about make sure students have a heck of a good time when they come learn with us. And so we were seen as fun people. And so right down to some email subject lines, we want to be fun as well. So you're a music teacher or a music school, so use some music ones. So some funny ones we've used are like the final countdown with some, you know, a notes emoji or twinkle, twinkle, little... And then you might put someone's name, Johnny, twinkle, twinkle, little Johnny, how I wonder how you are. And it might be following up about something. Or number three, it might be got 99 problems, but great music lessons isn't one. So you might use something like that for a promotional one. So think through any kind of like fun song names that you could use or like pop culture references going on at the time or news related things. Be quirky and fun. Another thing is use emojis. They're cool as well. They get people's attention. So you can use something like you know gone in three two one and have a little clock you could have a you a thumbs up or a thumbs down for and then insert whether it's a you know it could say are you a thumbs up or a thumbs down for thursday you might be chasing up something that's happening on thursday or it could be for an event your next concert or a topic or joining your new band program or your new preschool music class program something like that even just like the heart emoji stands out because it's you know red and catches people's eyes it could be like you will heart this new blank so you will love this new feature we've just added for students or whatever it's going to be you will love this new bonus that we have so options are totally endless right but be creative and notice yourself as you get emails from different things that you're signed up to notice which subject lines you thought were good and collect a swipe file of them so a swipe file is something where you just you either copy them or screenshot them or just put them into a spreadsheet or a Word doc to refer back to later. So that is something that you want to do. I myself have kept a swipe file for many years and because often when you're writing it's like right it's time to write you know this promotional email or this email sequence or this communication. I don't want to have to think for ages about what I want to write so I want to be able to pull templates from everywhere and a swipe file for subject lines is really helpful as well. So I've actually got a swipe file of 350 plus um, great email subject lines and you can have it free. Uh, there's a link to grab a free trial of our Build a Music School membership and in there there's uh, the swipe file. It's located in module 5 so just grab a free trial down below. Go grab that. Uh, hopefully you'll have a good look around. There's actually that's one of the tiniest resources that are there. There's over 500 videos, tools, trainings from myself and many other music teachers that are going to help you grow your studio and you can interact with our community for seven days. Check it out. Hopefully you'll stick around. If not, totally cool. But that swipe file, as I said, is in module five. So grab the link down below and after this video. So last thing that I wanted to talk to you quickly about was I promised to talk to you about how to respond to people that don't open your emails because even if you write much better emails, you get better subject lines, you get better open rates, there's still going to be those annoying people, right? And no matter what you do, they still won't open it. <laughs> and so what do you do? So one simple tactic is if you use a software, and there's many different softwares, you can start with, say, a free uh, or really cheap Gmail plugin. There's one that we have used called Yam, yet another mail merge. It's super cheap for the whole year. 
and that will literally tell you, it'll help you mail merge out to your, your email list and it'll tell you whether people opened, didn't open, clicked or not. And you can do something more powerful. You can use like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign, those sorts of softwares. What you do is you go after a few days from sending the email, you can show a list of all the people that didn't open. So then you grab that list and then you resend the exact same email again and you just change the subject line, something different. And so if you've done a quirky one the first time, well, change to a formal one. If you've done a formal one, well, try a curiosity one. So pick a different angle. So look at the subject line that you did do, resend the email with a totally different angle and that will get a whole lot more people opening it again. You're still going to end up with those annoying people that didn't follow up and if it's a really important communication yes you're going to have to move to the next step talking to people in person sending a text message talking to that person at the next lesson etc but we've greatly reduced the time and workload for you by making a few of those simple tweaks so there's today's video i hope that you enjoyed it make sure to like subscribe and you'll keep getting more great videos and grab all those links for all that free stuff that I've shared with you below. And any questions that you've got, feel free to comment here or on our buildermusicschool.com website. You can actually leave a question in written or video form and we'll feature it here on the vlog. Great. See you in the next video, guys.